Welcome back. We are here at Percona Live 2014, Santa Clara Convention Center, Santa Clara, California, the heart of Silicon Valley. I'm Jeff Frick, you're in theCUBE. We take theCUBE out to all the great events. We get the smartest people in the room. We ask them the questions you'd like to ask them, extract the signal from the noise, and really bring you the story if you weren't able to get here. So I'm joined here in theCUBE by Alex Yurchenko, co-founder of Codership. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Jeff. So you've got a really interesting uh, product name I want to jump into, Galera Cluster. And uh, I was struck by the name because of, of a close friend of mine, Portuguese uh, buddy from Brazil, used to say, we are Galera, we are Galera, we are a, a kinship, you know, a, a group of guys, a group of five or six guys. I'm just curious if that has any play into the name of your, of your product. Well, it's definitely a Roman word and it must have some connection to folks, to people. Uh, but initially where we uh, started off with was that Galera is a Roman word for what uh, in English is called a galley, a ship with uh, multiple uh, oarsmen and may maybe multiple even rows of oars, you know, triremas, biremas right. and stuff like that. And why we choose those na this name is that, um, first of all, uh, oarsmen must work very synchronously in order to not uh, lock, interlock their oars. And uh, secondly, um, and Galera is a synchronous replication solution. And secondly, uh, the more oarsmen you add to Galera, the faster it goes. And we were aiming for scale out, and the more nodes you add to the cluster, the faster it goes. And uh, ironically, or maybe not ironically, but anyway, uh, this synchronous operation is exactly the thing that allows us to scale up, pretty much like in uh, Galera ship. So synchronous and able to scale. Just yes. add more rowers to the boat. Yes. As long as they're in, uh, in synchronized fashion, yes. they'll make the boat go faster. Yes, exactly. All right, well that's a good picture. So let's talk about the technology. Where is this being used? What exactly have you built on the technology side that's different, that wasn't there before? And uh, give us a little bit of background. Right, I've been waiting to say this. <laughs> well, uh, here we are, we're breaking it live <laughs> on the queue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, for many Galera users and just uh, people who are familiar with, have heard about our technology, it's just a replication solution for MySQL. Not uh, that sexy. Uh, well, it's not that sexy, but in reality, Galera is a library, is a generic library which um, implements an efficient way to serialize access to a global resource in a high latency environment. Okay. To put it in more concrete terms, global resource may be a row in a table in your database. Uh, high latency environment is pretty much anything that is not InfiniBand. Anything where global locks are too expensive to obtain. Um, and that's pretty much the whole world. If you want uh, to have concurrent uh, global ac right access to your data, Galera is pretty much the most efficient uh, way to achieve that, that I know. So it's about knocking down latency in what you yes. call, what you define as the high latency world. Yes. So that's interesting, because all we ever hear about is less latency, less latency, less latency, really driven by the mobile first. You know, you get the, the, the Google developers at any of the shows that they're at and they're talking about just yep. shaving, 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 bits of time here, there, and everywhere. So what are some of the, the I guess, legacy environments that are high, high latency where you've got an opportunity to go in there and trim? Um, so the applications and the customer use cases. Well, um, just uh, this Monday, J-Pipes gave a very compelling use case for Galera in OpenStack, where you want uh, 
Keystone. Keystone is a part of OpenStack right. infrastructure. Right. We want Keystone data to be known globally okay. in all your data centers. You want to distribute and you want to have uh, full access to this data. So Galera is the perfect tool for this job. And basically, I think it's the only um, solution that I know that allows you to distribute Keystone data across your data centers. And the Keystone so, data in the OpenStack is, is really the, the key piece, again, yes. taking the great naming convention. You know, it is the stone that holds the arch together. Yeah, That's what exactly. makes it all hold together. Exactly. Awesome, so then you play in the OpenStack then, obviously, as well. Uh, well, uh, many OpenStack installations have adopted Galera. Okay, great. So talk a little bit about the company. Where are you in terms of the company? How big are you guys? Uh, where are you based? And, and talk a little bit about you know, having kind of an open source component in your company, but then you know, how do you make money? So obviously you got to have some non-open source stuff or services. Give us a little background on the company. Um, well, perhaps I should start a little bit with uh, some history. Sure. That um, our company is called Codership, and this is because the founders, uh, me and Seppo Yakel and Temo Olaka, we met uh, 10 years ago in the company that was then called Emic Networks. Okay. And now is called Continuant. All right. And uh, due to certain events, uh, we will, uh, we left that company and then we decided that we want to start our own company. Of course. That's what uh, we do here in the Valley, right? And, in and we kind of, <laughs> we're thinking that we, you see, we started this uh, work like 10 years ago, everybody has experience in, uh, implementing uh, database replication solutions in Emic Networks, we started with the uh, M cluster, then it was Uni cluster, uh, then we worked with uh, Continent on Tungsten, and kind of we felt that we have uh, accumulated enough experience that we know how this should be done, and we wanted to implement it. So our, what was, our, our what was the whole? What was the whole that existed? That, that gave you guys the thought that you could go out and do it a better way? What, what couldn't be done that you can do now? I think... Um, or was it just a marginal improvement in the process? No, it wasn't a marginal improvement. Uh, our idea was to... You see, we saw how complex replication solutions are. We saw the deficiencies, and we were thinking that we now know how to, you know, pretty much make a qualitatively new solution, which replication that just works. Unfortunately, with replication, you know, replication is never simple. But I believe that we have achieved uh, uh, our goal. Say, we have only two mandatory configuration variables in our cluster. Two? Yes. So to set up uh, the cluster, you need to configure only two variables in my SQL configuration form. Wow. So talk a little bit about hyperscale and you know big scale, big data. Obviously, you know, there's a lot in Hadoop and there's a lot in the NoSQL databases, but a big topic of the conversation here at the show is you know making MySQL better for large volumes of data. Um, You're doing replication. It would only seem to make your uh, your job more complicated, more difficult as the as the front end of that pipe is getting bigger, bigger, and faster and faster. What does it mean for you guys? What's the opportunity? How's it impacting uh, your customers? Well, to be honest, we haven't yet tapped into that Hadoop uh, pool, and uh, but <clears throat> we're starting to get some ideas how we can improve, uh, say, Hadoop, for example. Hadoop has a na uh, name node, and uh, currently uh, there is no kind of good solution for high availability for that node. It's pretty much single point of failure, and there are some uh, workarounds for that, but say what we can do with Galera is make it a multi-master cluster out of Hadoop name node. Well, these are kind of... Uh, plans, uh, some ideas that we're having, uh, but um, it's all, uh, Still pretty new. yeah, depending, depending how much 
uh, uh, resources we can uh, gain. Uh, it all requires some work. Um, so even though Galera kind of is not exactly targeted for big data, uh, even there we can uh, there is an application for that. Sure, because it's coming, right? Big data yes. is coming. It's everywhere. Big data is coming, and uh, what like one year seemed impossible. Right now we have already clear ideas how to do it, uh, sharding and stuff. Okay. So why are you here? What's what's important about Percona Live uh, that brought you here to the show? Um, users and partners, we're here to talk to people. Okay. And how's it been going? What's the vibe on the floor? How are what's what are the you can feedback you get from well, customers it, it, on kind of the state of the union and, and some of the partner community? It's been very wonderful for us. But you know, it's kind of uh, it's been very wonderful for us for probably last half year or so. Uh, people are getting aware of the technology, they are trying it, they are building expertise, uh, they are using it in solutions, um, migrating from proprietary solutions to Galera. Um, so it's uh, it's not just this conference, it's the overall uh, process, what is happening uh, in our business. Sure, sure. And uh, will you be at OpenStack Summit? Yes, we will be. Okay. Maybe not, not me personally, maybe, okay. but uh, uh, we will have a booth there okay. just, as well. Because we'll be there, the Cube will be there yeah. in, uh, in Atlanta this year, closer, closer to Finland than, uh, than yeah. San Francisco maybe. <laughs> it, it was in Portland last year. So that's good. So what's the next big challenge to overcome? What's your next big um, kind of technical or business um, objective you're trying to achieve? Well, uh, there are certain limitations that Galera has and that we resolve to solve by the end of the year. Um, but these are kind of usability problems and uh, what people have long asked of us, for example, support for arbitrary large transactions and stuff like that. But I don't see it as a as a next big thing. It's just, you know, finishing the product. Okay. Uh, I think the next big thing will be sharding. We are working on uh, design of uh, a sharded Galera cluster that um, that's pretty much we're addressing this uh, big um, big data challenge and we are trying to address it in the most optimal way um, and it's it's this very thing is actually uh, the challenge is uh, what kind of uh, keeps us going yeah it's, 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 in the morning, it's, right? it's very exciting yes and uh, where I'm can't I can't wait to start working on that but you know there are like users, emails, like uh, mailing lists, uh, negotiations. Uh, I mean, when I have really very little time to actually code. <laughs> That's what happens when you grow a business, right? Yes. You gotta manage yes, the yes. business instead of exactly. uh, writing the code. So is that, is the sharding project, is that a, a three month project from now, six month uh, project, well, year long project? It will start probably in a year. Start in a year. Yeah, okay. Yes, I think. Well, we will probably have some alpha. Okay, so we're time. here next year, uh, Percona Live 2015. We yes. get you on the cube. We, we, we very much hope to have something to show. Okay, good. Well, good luck. This sounds like uh, an honorable objective and certainly a fun one to keep you keep you working and keep the team going. Mm -hmm. So again, thanks, Alex, for coming on from uh, co-founder of Codership, uh, the Galera cluster. Uh, best of luck to you and the team. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. We uh, will be right back from Percona Live 2014. We won't be in 2015 for a year uh, with our next guest after this short break. You're watching theCUBE from Percona Live.